call the member for Fremantle. Deputy Speaker, I was very glad to get an update last week from the City of Coburn about the creation of a new okay. Aboriginal and indeed cultural and visitors centre uh, to be sited at Bibra Lake or Wollyabup, a site of great significance to the Biliar Noongar people, an area in which there is evidence of Indigenous cultural practice that reaches back 55,000 years. It's a project that's been driven by Coburn's Indigenous Reference Group, comprised of Aboriginal elders, traditional owners and community members, with the current design being a collaborative work guided by the award-winning Officer Woods Architects. The structure will draw upon and express the form of the southwestern snake-neck turtle that lives in Wollyabup, and the centre's purpose will be to promote and share the area's rich Noongar history and to strengthen the living culture through stories, language, music, dance and art. Deputy Speaker, there's no doubt that Australia has a lot further to go and so much to gain from working with First Nations Australians on the path uh, of reconciliation. That requires effort and energy on many fronts. It's not a task that can be usefully separated into practical and cultural measures because they're logically intertwined. Fighting discrimination, securing constitutional reform, increasing cultural understanding and knowledge across the Australian community and delivering on the enormous goodwill and hard work and promise that is represented by the Uluru Statement from the Heart. All these things, all these things go hand in hand with a vital effort to close the gap when it comes to education and workforce participation and income and housing and health. Deputy Speaker, in recent years, the City of Fremantle has established the Wollyalup Cultural Centre and will soon open the new town hall and administrative complex in the renamed Wollyalup Court, or the heart of Wollyalup. I want to recognise and applaud the efforts being made by traditional owners and other Indigenous members of the community in Coburn and Fremantle to lead this delivery of Indigenous cultural infrastructure and to see the wider use of Noongar language in place naming and other aspects of civil and civic life. Uh, they have spoken and the councils in Fremantle and Coburn have listened. But there's certainly scope for such work in the roller coaster from one budget to the next to be better supported by the federal government. We do need to better protect our Indigenous heritage. We also need to invest in new forms of cultural capital, investments that will connect the past to the present and revitalise First Nations stories and language and deep understanding of our environment. There's no doubt that Australia does not yet sufficiently benefit from and pay respect to our unique heritage, which is of unparalleled scale and richness. We should have a national centre of First Nations culture and there should be an institutional presence of that kind in every part of Australia. Perhaps in future there will be an opportunity to link outward from that high level national cultural framework to a network of local centres like the one that has been established in Wollyalup and that will soon be established in Wollyalup.